Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, let's have a look at this little one. We, we, we the second half of this question done. It, it was the um, if you remember where you had to hormones were apply, applied to plants, and we had to describe the um, how the normal distribution shifted. This was part A of that question, and, and it was in 2013. Um, so a random variable x follows a normal distribution with mean 60 and standard deviation 5. Find the, the probability that x is less than or equal to 16, or, or the percentage chance of it happening, or um, the proportion that's below it. So it can, it can be described in various ways, OK? So I'm just drawing a normal distribution here. OK, mark it my mean in the middle of 60, standard deviation, roughly about a third up of five, okay? And it's going well, where is 68? So you can see if that's my five, if I go up another standard deviation, that 68 is, is well up. It's well up towards two standard deviations above, okay? And you know that plus or minus two standard deviations above is 95%, okay? Um, and it also includes the bottom bit here, which has to another two and a half percent in it. Okay, so it's plus or minus two standard deviations plus the two and a half percent that's down here. So I would expect my answer to be well up in the um, in the percentages. Okay, so sixty eight. So the easiest way to do this is to normalize the data, figure out how many. Um, standard deviations you're away and then just look up the equivalent z score so z being how many standard deviations you're away okay so let's let's have a look we will do the probability that x is less than or equal to 68 so from the log tables the formula is the standardizing formula is z is equal to x minus mu over sigma, okay? So x minus mu. x is the value you were testing, so it's 68 in, in R1. Um, that's the value that we're testing. This is your mean, which is 60 in our case, and your standard deviation is your sigma, okay? And when you put that into the calculator, you get um, 1.6. Okay, so if we look up 1.6 then in our Z score tables, so we are 1.6 standard deviations away. Okay, it's exactly 1.6, so it's 1.6. There's This is our second place of decimal across the top, so 1.60, so 0 0.9452. No point, I've forgotten already. 9452. Okay, so 94.52%, which is kind of what I expected. It was nearly up at two standard deviations. The difference there and the two and a half percent here kind of cancels each other out. So 0 0.9452, okay, or 94.52%. So that's that first one. That's a one-tailed test is what, what it's called. So you're working out everything below 68. And how do I know it's below? Well, I know from, from this diagram here. So because below the line is shaded in, when you look up the Z scores, it's everything up to that value. Okay, now the probability that you're between 52 and 68 is what we call a two-tailed test. So if I draw that one over here, Um, and again, we'll draw our mean down the center and our mean again being uh, 60. And, and I know this applies to the two paths because if you see this sits outside part one and part two. So this line of text up here applies to both parts. Okay, can you see that? It's outside part one and part two. So there's 60 and I want to know what is the probability that again, I'm between 68 and 52. 
Okay, so it's a two-tailed test. It'll be the two tails we'll ignore. Okay, well, we know from the top one, I'm just going to delete out this because this is included. Okay, I know from the top one that um, the probability of being less than 68 is 0.9452, okay? So that's the 68. So then how do I work out the um, 52, okay? Well, you can see that's that's a negative, um, well, let me put it into the, the formula. So the probability of being less than or equal to 52, and again, I use the same standardizing formula up here. So it's the value that I'm testing minus the mean over the standard deviation. When you put this into your calculator and we're going to get a minus 1.6 this time. Okay, so in other words, that means I am 1.6 uh, standard deviations below the mean. That's what the minus sign means. Okay, now the problem is when we come to the log tables, it, we the log tables don't record values for minus standard deviations. They only go from naught up to three, okay? So you can see that naught all the way up to three, okay? And there's no negative values, okay? It, it's not the end of the world at all. Uh, the reason they do this is because the normal distribution curve is completely symmetrical, okay? So in other words, if I look up a value or if I have a value here, then the area under the curve to the right of that line is the same as the area under the curve to the left of that line, okay? In the same way, the area here between the arrows is the same here. So that, that curve is completely symmetrical, okay? So when you look up, so another way it gets explained, Okay, so when I look up, so all I can look up in the table is 1.6, okay? Um, so another way I've seen this being explained is that when you look up 1.6, just rub him out now so you can see what I'm going to do, okay? When I look up 1.6, regardless of whether it's positive or negative, it gives you the area of the largest portion of the curve, okay? I hope this doesn't confuse you, okay? So it gives you the largest portion when I looked up minus 1.6. Now, what I actually need is the area less than 52, okay? So, okay, I must go one minus 0.9552, which gives me, let me just put that into the calculator, one minus 0.9552 which is 0.0448, okay? Um, so that is the probability of being less than 52, okay? Or another way of looking at it is if you have looked up, and I'm gonna use this one this time, if you have looked up a Z score of plus 1.6, when you subtract it from one, you get this piece of area and because it is symmetrical, it'll be the exact same as down here, which is 52, which is a Z score of minus 1.6. So either think about it being symmetrical, and therefore that's why you're subtracting from one, or think about it as when you look up a Z score, it gives you the large area of the curve, and therefore again, you have to subtract it from one so that you can get the area down there. Now, why is the area down there so important to me? Well, I'm going to come up to this diagram here, okay? You can see that in this diagram is 68. When I work out this area down here, which is less than 52, okay? Can you see now if I subtract this little um, area from the whole thing, I will be left with just what's between 52 and 68, which is what this question asked for, okay? So the last step in this is to take, I suppose the probability of being less than 68, 0.9452, subtract off the probability of being down under 52,
And let me see what I get for that. So 0 0.9452 minus answer, and I'm getting 0 0.9004. Sorry, I did make a typo. Let me just fix my typo now. So your answers are, are fully correct. The method is correct. The answers is just one out. And 0.9452 minus answer. 0.8904. Okay, so to summarize, when it's a two-tailed test, do the big one first and work out the area or the probability of you being less than that number, okay? And it's all the way down to the negative. Then do this the lower one separately. In many cases, it'll be a minus number, okay? There are no minus standard deviations in the log table, so you have no option but to look up the positive, okay? Subtract it from one to get the probability of being in this region here. And then subtract one from the other to get the probability or the proportion that's between the two numbers. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.